Greg Armstrong has served as the Blunt County Revenue Commissioner since September the 10th, 2012, after being appointed to this office by our Governor, Honorable Robert Bentley, who we have the pleasure of having in attendance with us today. Governor, we're so glad that you're here. It was a great honor for me to administer the oath of office to Greg when he was appointed only six days after receiving the oath of office myself as your probate judge. And Greg, I don't guess anybody but us knows how nervous and scared we were at that time. <laughs> because when we look back at the pictures, we realize that um, Greg was raising his left hand instead of his right hand, <laughs> which was my fault. I'll take responsibility for that. But we're going to try to get it right today. We have assumed that raising your left hand is official as well, so we, we haven't called that into question. Greg's done a wonderful job the last three years, and it has been a wonderful and blessed experience for me to have Greg here as a faithful friend in Blount County Courthouse. And if you serve in public office, you know what it means to you to have faithful friends around that you can count on and talk to and just share uh, in words of encouragement uh, with each other and discuss problems that you might have. And Greg has been that kind of friend. Greg, I appreciate that so much. The people of Blunt County express their approval, Governor, of your appointment, Greg, by overwhelmingly electing him back in the primary uh, election and then him running unopposed in the general election. And Greg, I went back and looked at the book this morning. I went and pulled the election book out, and you were running unopposed, but you still only got 98.17% of the vote. So I don't know what that means, it doesn't mean. But I'll take it any time. <coughs> Greg began his public service career um, being elected to the Blount County School Board in 1992. And he served the Board of Education for 20 consecutive years. He served as the Revenue Commissioner for the past three years and will now be starting a six-year term of office there. I predict that when Greg retires from public service, he will without a doubt hold the record uh, for the total years of service uh, for any elected official that's ever served in this county. And it may already be there, almost there. So we are extremely proud, Greg. We're extremely proud and honored today to have with us Governor Robert Bentley, who will administer the oath of office to Greg. Governor Bentley has been a great friend of Blount County, and Governor, we hope that Blount County has been a great friend to you as well. We are the recipient of a number of grant projects that are ongoing now because of Governor Bentley's support. And uh, I'd like to talk about 30, 40 minutes about that. And of course, it would not be expedient, but uh, sometime maybe I can, Governor, we'll be in the public venue and I can explain all the things that the Governor has done for us. But um, I will mention, as I usually do, that the people of Blunt County have been a great friend of the Governor by giving him the largest uh, majority vote in the state in 2014. Now, Governor, we're really proud of that. 84.56% per, of the vote, and you did have an opponent. That's right. So uh, we're very proud of that. Folks, would you join me in giving a warm welcome to Governor Bentley at this time? Sunday school yesterday up in Brattle. Uh, I went in this uh, Sunday school class and uh, this first time I've been in this particular class before and uh, it's just a bunch of old men in there and because it was an old man Sunday school class and so when I walked in, Pastor, I walked in and I said, uh, 
Where do y'all promote to from out of this class, heaven? <laughs> well, half of them didn't hear me, and the other half didn't think he was funny. <laughs> anyway, so I, I don't know how I got to that, except my throat got to bother me yesterday. I don't know, somebody must have had some Old Spice after shave or something. <laughs> It's good to be in Blunt County. You know, this Blunt County is such a wonderful county. I, I feel so close to uh, the people of Blunt County. Uh, I, I do because of, of, of my upbringing in Shelby County. Uh, it's, a, it's a very similar background. Uh, you know, my daddy was a sawmiller and uh, he didn't make any money, and, but uh, we uh, survived. But, you know, the people of Blunt County, Shelby County, they were, they were very similar. And in fact, they're so similar that the party on which I run, which is a Republican party, which most of you guys are, y'all really aren't the same kind of Republicans that they are in other parts of the state. In fact, uh, there was a party in the uh, late 1800s and early 1900s called the Populist Republicans of Alabama. Well, you know which counties that were in? That, that you, they were in Chilton, Shelby, and Blount. And that's where most of the, uh, that's where most of the populist Republicans were. Now, what was a populist Republican? Well, the populist Republican was one who believed that, that the party belongs to the people, that it emanates from the people, not from big business, not from anybody. And in fact, most of your populist Republicans really were made up of farmers and sawmillers. That's who made it up. And, and so it was a different party. It truly was a different party. And that's where we came from. That's where y'all came from. If you're Republicans in here and your roots are from Blunt County, then that's where you came from. That's where I came from. Uh, we do believe that uh, everything emanates from one group, and that's the people. So everything that we should do in public service should always be, is this helping the people that I serve? And that's what I always want to do. And I want to thank y'all. I, I feel at home here. You know, Elwin Thomas, who uh, y'all know very well, was uh, someone that I actually, uh, when we were in Montgomery, we stayed in the same hotel. Uh, every night we stayed in the same hotel uh, for eight years. And so uh, now he's uh, head of the, uh, my housing commission in Montgomery, and he's doing a great job. But Greg is such a fine guy, and y'all all know that, and you, you've elected him, and I sure am glad after I appointed him he got reelected. <laughs> Thank y'all for doing that. It's always embarrassing to appoint somebody who did not get reelected. But Greg got, he got reelected. Didn't have anybody run against him on the Democrat side. I don't know if there's any Democrats up here or not, but I'm sure there are a few. But Greg has done a great job, and he's such a fine person. I, I, I tell you, I, I want to say this, when, when I ran uh, in 2010, uh, you know, we did great in this county in 2010, even when nobody thought we had a chance to win, uh, we did great. And uh, y'all helped me so much, and, and Greg was such a part of that. He, he was with me from the beginning, from the beginning he was, and, and I just wanted to know how much I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, he got such a great family there, uh, uh, you know, uh, his children looked, looked got a beautiful daughter and, and Charlie's got those dimples and and, uh, and he's got his bow tie on. I don't know what he's going to be, maybe president. Uh, but we just, uh, we've got a great family here and, and uh, Greg is doing a fantastic job. And I'm just proud to be with y'all today. Uh, I like to, I love to get out of Montgomery. I truly do. And, and go out and talk with people and, and meet with people. So. Uh, thank y'all for letting me come, Greg. Thank you for letting me come up and swear you in. You know, we looked at the Constitution when I was elected. I don't think anybody ever looked at this before. I'm not too sure some people ever looked at the Constitution, but, but we did. And uh, we were not sure that a governor could swear anybody in because we couldn't find it anywhere in the Constitution. So you know what I did? I like to swear people in, so I became a notary public. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a notary. I hope it says this over here. Yeah, it does. It says, well, I'm a notary republic. All right. So I'm a notary republic, and I pay that every four years or whatever it is. So I'm a notary. So I can't swear again officially. 
So, Greg, if you will have your sweet family to come up here and, and let them bring their Bible, and uh, or your Bible, I hope it's your Bible. Okay? Let's, let's, let's come around here.